I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you look new here. Do you need any help? Yeah, I'm just trying to explore the campus. That's it. Oh, okay. I can help you with that. Oh, sure. That'd be great. Yeah, let's go. So, can you tell me something about this university? Well, what exactly do you want to know? Um, how's the classroom culture? Okay, so let's start from the beginning of the semester. In the very first class, the professor will hand out a course syllabus which gives a detailed description about the classroom expectations, etiquettes, required textbooks, office hours, important deadlines, campus resources, details about assignments, exams, and how they're graded. Okay, and how do you address the professors here? Is it professor, or sir, or ma'am? Many professors prefer to be addressed by their first names, but it's always okay to call a professor by their title and last name. Still, if you are unsure, feel free to ask them. Oh, that's cool. This will definitely help to build a strong relationship between a professor and the students. Yes, definitely. Sometimes professors will have a hard time pronouncing your names, so feel free to kindly correct them or share your preferred name. With this, you have to be punctual in classes. This is considered as a sign of respect in U.S. classrooms. Students are expected to attend classes regularly, and sometimes attendance may even count for part of your class grade. Some professors do not like it if you are late for their class. Oh, really? Then I'll make sure I'm always on time. But wait. What if I'm not able to attend class, like if I get sick or anything urgent comes up? In that case, you should email your professor as soon as possible and they would consider it. Oh, okay. That's a relief. Also, many professors do not accept late assignments and may deduct your points for tardiness. Staying active in class is not just limited to listening to your professor. You should also participate and take notes either with a pen and paper or you may use your laptop. What? We can use laptops in lectures? Yes, laptops are allowed during lectures, and usually it's okay to use an audio recorder to record the lecture. However, some professors strictly prohibit the use of any technological gadgets in their classrooms. So you must check with all your professors about their usage in the class either when the syllabus is being reviewed or at the beginning or end of the class. Going further, lectures are collaborated with discussions, group projects, and presentations. The professor presents the content of the course either verbally or through PowerPoint presentations. Professors expect the students to be active in class. That means raising your hand to ask questions, sharing ideas and opinions, and participating in class activities. This helps all students to understand the topic better. It is very common in your classrooms for you to work in groups. This is a great way to interact with your classmates and get to know them and even helps you practice your English language skills. Working in groups promotes collaboration and cooperation, which can help you enhance your listening skills, develop your personality, and make you a better team player. This helps you to be better equipped for your future professional workplaces. That sounds great. But how does the professor assign tasks? And when do they grade our assignments? iLearn. iLearn acts as a medium between the students and the professor for assignments, deadlines, and grades. Professors also provide useful materials through iLearn. Students must check iLearn regularly for latest updates. 
Eating and drinking beverages like tea or coffee may be allowed during lectures. And again, you can clarify from your professors in case of any doubts. Whoa, this is completely new to me. Back then, we used to get caught while having snacks in lectures. I'm sure you guys can relate to that. But here, it's completely different. I'm already loving this classroom culture. Happy to hear that. What's that? Oh, that's the Gator. He's the mascot of San Francisco State. So, getting back to our conversation, classes will often have discussion or lab sections, which are led by teaching assistants. Are teaching assistants same as assistant professors? Oh no, teaching assistants are usually graduate students who have a good command over the subjects they are teaching. They should be treated with the same respect as you treat your professors. They can help you clarify any doubts you have about your homework, assignments, or test questions. Oh, I see. Oh, I almost forgot to mention one important point: plagiarism. In U.S. classrooms, honesty is a critical component. You are expected to be honest and ethical in your academic work. Cheating and plagiarism are serious violations of the academic code of conduct and are unacceptable. It will often be met with disciplinary action or possible expulsion from the institution. Okay, I'll take care of that. I have a question: What if someone is not able to speak to the professor during or after class because he or she is shy? That's a good point. Professors tend to be fairly accessible outside the classroom too. So if you need to consult your professors, you can visit them during their office hours or make an appointment. That way, you can ask questions or clarify your concepts, homework, or test questions in private. You may also discuss your personal problems, which you think may be affecting your performance in the class. The professor can give you advice on so many things that are beyond the scope of classroom material. You can use this time to ask your professor about academic or career advice. The conversation may be casual and may divert from academic topics to learn more about your interests and hobbies. Meeting your professor during their office hours helps build a positive impression on the professor and makes you more noticeable in class. Hmm, that sounds great. Thank you for this valuable information. Happy to help.